Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna guide you through setting up your agency sub account in Go High Level. I'll show you how to set everything up step by step so that you can easily manage your business and get the most out of this program. But before we get started, let me give you a special offer. You see, normally if you go through Go High Level's website, you're gonna get a 14 day free trial. However, with my link, you will receive a 30 day free trial. And on top of that, just as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost. So in my course, I highlight the most important aspects to focus on, helping you start making money using Go High Level in those initial 30 days. Additionally, you're gonna receive my top-notch, high-quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. Those are worth over $900, but you're gonna get all of that for free just as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description below. Simply click the first link to find all of the details about these offers and how you can claim them. It's just my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now let's dive in. First, let's talk about the difference between a Go High Level agency account and a sub account. Think of your agency account as the central hub where you manage everything for your business. It's the main place where you can keep an eye on all of your clients and projects. Under this main agency account, you can create sub accounts, which are like separate spaces for each client or business that you work with. You can make as many sub accounts as you need, as long as you're on the $297 plan or higher. Now to make it simple, all of your sub accounts can be found in the agency dashboard or under the sub accounts tab. In this video, I'll walk you through setting up a new sub account step-by-step -step so that so stay tuned if you haven't done it yet. All right, so if you don't have a sub account yet, no problem. Creating one is really easy. Just go to the sub accounts page and click on the create sub account button at the top right corner. You'll see a pop-up with two options, SaaS account or regular account. So if you're planning to resell Go High Level as a white label service, choose the SaaS account. Otherwise, the regular account is perfect for managing your own clients or business. After choosing the account type, you can either start with a blank setup or use a pre-designed template. So if you're just getting started, I'd suggest using a template. It gives you a solid foundation to work from. Simply hover over the template that you want, click on select and continue, and fill in the details. Now you'll see a map on your screen. Now this map is really useful if you're setting up a sub account for a client. All you need to do is search for your client's business on the map and Go High Level will automatically pull in all of the details from their business profile. Now this can save a lot of time, especially when you're dealing with multiple clients. However, if you're not comfortable doing it this way or you can't find the business on the map, you can add all of the details manually. Just look for the add account manually button located on the right side of the search bar and click on it and you can start entering the information yourself. So it's really straightforward and I'll guide you through each section just to make sure that everything is set up properly. Now, once you're on the ad account page, you can fill out the details needed. So under account info, enter your first and last name along with your email address and double check this information because it's important for communication and managing your account. Next, go to the general info and enter your business name, address, niche, phone number, website, and time zone. Now, this helps categorize your account the right way. So once you've completed all of these details, click the green save button and your sub account is ready to go. Now, how to switch to a sub account. So the first thing that you need to know is how to switch from your agency account to the sub account that you have just created. There are a couple of ways that you could do this in Go High Level. The easiest way is to click on the click here to switch button located at the top of the left hand menu. Now, once you click that, a list of all of your sub accounts is gonna pop up. Just select the one that you want and you're good to go. Alternatively, you can navigate to the sub accounts tab in the left menu. And once you're there, you'll see a list of your sub accounts and at the bottom of the page, you'll find the switch to sub account button. So click on it and you're all set to start managing that sub account. Now, once you're inside your sub account, you'll notice that the dashboard looks 
a lot like the main agency account, but there are some key differences. And so let me walk you through the menu just so that you'll know exactly where to find everything. First, there's the search. Now this tab is super handy when you need to quickly find something within your sub account. It's like your own personal search engine that lets you pull up anything that you need in seconds. Next up is the launch pad. Now this is the main hub of your account. It gives you a summary of all of the important metrics and gives you quick access to the tools that you use most often. If you want to get a snapshot of how things are going, this is where you're going to start. So the dashboard helps you keep track of everything happening in your sub account. It shows you key metrics and it lets you see how your campaigns are performing. This way, you know what's working well and where you need to make some changes. Then we have conversations. Now, then we have conversations. So this is where all the messaging with your clients and leads takes place. Whether it's an SMS, email, or other message, it's basically the communication center of your sub account and managing it well will make a big difference in your relationships with your clients. Calendar helps you stay organized, so you can schedule appointments, meetings, and events all in one place. Keeping everything in one calendar makes it a lot easier to stay on top of your schedule. Contacts tab is where all of your client and lead information is stored. You can add tags, organize your contacts, and segment them based on specific criteria. Opportunities is where you keep track of deals or leads as they move through your sales funnels. The payments tab is where you handle your invoices and your payments, and it helps you keep everything related to money organized. In the marketing section, you can create and manage campaigns, and you can design, schedule, and track everything right here. So the automation tab is where you can set up workflows to save you time. You can automate repetitive tasks like sending follow-up messages or scheduling reminders. Sites is where you can create landing pages, websites, funnels, and more. It's really easy to use with this drag and drop editor so that you don't need to be a tech expert to make something that looks great. So if you're offering courses or exclusive content, you'll use memberships. Now this is where you can set up and manage membership sites and create content for your customers. Media storage is exactly what it sounds like. It's where you're gonna keep all of your files like images, videos, and documents all in one convenient place. So this makes it easy to access everything when you need it. The reputation tab is all about managing your online reviews. Here, you can keep track of what people are saying about your business and respond to their feedback to build a positive reputation. Reporting, it gives you detailed insights into how your campaigns are doing. You can see what's working and where you might need to make some improvements helping you stay on top of your marketing strategy. In the app marketplace, you can find and integrate third-party tools that make Go High Level even more powerful. So adding extra tools is a great way to expand what you can do. The mobile app tab gives you information on the mobile version so that you can manage your sub account on the go. Finally, we have settings. Now, this is where you can customize your sub account to fit your needs. You can adjust your user roles, set permissions, and configure other preferences to make sure that everything works the way that you want it to. And that's it for today. I hope that this video helps you set up and navigate your Go High Level Agency sub account smoothly. By the way, if you're interested in getting started with Go High Level, but you don't have an account yet, there's a link in the description below. And you can use it to sign up for a brand new Go High Level account. If you use my link, you're gonna get a 30 day free trial instead of the usual 14 days. And plus, you're gonna get free access to my Go High Level Jumpstart course to help you set up and launch your business within those first 30 days. You'll also receive premium Notion templates worth over $900, including the Business Hub and Finance Hub templates all for free. Just click the link in the description to claim these bonuses and get started. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe for more in-depth Go High Level tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there are specific features that you want me to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.